I'm going to get started with my lesson, okay? What about study? I won't let them be naughty. Set. I'm still waiting for Cesar to return to his seat here. I'm still sitting in front of the computer. Cesar? All right, I love you. I'll talk to you soon, mother. Okay, Cesar, I need you in your seat. Come on now. In your chair. We're doing this. Thank you. All right, let me make sure this thing is recording. Alright, you guys. That's way too wide. What is it? Make up your mind on which color the girl's gonna be. That's why. Okay. I need everybody to focus for just a few minutes here while I go over my lesson with you. Now, I'm gonna just say ahead of time that for those of you that are very super involved in other projects, it's fine if you continue doing those. You have the option of doing this today, you can do it tomorrow. I would like all of you to do this because I think this is a really cool project and it, it's going to give you the opportunity to really express yourself through art, okay? Um, so, is everybody paying attention? Yes, Shayla. So chitter chatter. Shayla. Shayla, all right. Thank you. Um, so, what are we celebrating this Monday? Fourth of July. The 4th of July. Is this Monday? What does the 4th of July, what, what is the 4th of July in celebration of? The Independence of America. The Independence of America from Great Britain. Does anybody know how many colonies America was? There's 13. There was 13. That's correct. Very good. I'm glad to see if you guys know your American history. Um, so actually, I did, interestingly enough, I printed out um, an image of what our flag looked like in 1776, which was the year that the Declaration of Independence was signed and Congress approved for the independence of America from Great Britain. And you can see there are only 13 stars here. So the flag has changed a lot. Now it looks like this. This is what you are all familiar with. So we celebrate American independence on the 4th of July every year. But technically, we're actually off by about two days because it was actually two days prior on July 2nd, 1776, that Congress actually officially approved Americans, America's independence from Great Britain. And in fact, the Declaration of Independence is more sort of an explanation of why they made that decision. So in other words, it was, um, you know, more widely publicized, and that's why, and it's a, it's a very famous document, and that's why we celebrate American independence on the 4th as opposed to the 2nd. An interesting piece of trivia for you all, Thomas Jefferson and John Adams who were the only two men to sign the Declaration of Independence, and then of course later they became presidents, U.S. presidents, both died on the same day. 50 years later to the day, that the Declaration of Independence was signed. So they died on July 4th, 1826. Isn't that something? I hear that and it sends chills up my spine, okay? That is really eerie. So that's an interesting piece of trivia for you. Um, and so because the 4th of July is coming upon us this Monday, I would like to devote the project that we do today to sort of your concept of what it means to be a young American. And I'm going to talk to you all on a deeper level because I believe that you're all very intelligent and that you can understand this. Um, it means something different to all of us um, in this country what America is, what it symbolizes, okay? It means different things based on our own heritage. Maybe you weren't born in this country. Maybe your parents were born in another country, okay? Um, does anybody want to share a little bit about their heritage? Maybe, maybe some of you are from Mexico. Maybe you want to do, we're doing scratch art. I'm going to show you the examples. Maybe I took the examples of scratch art. Did somebody remove it? Um, it was up here. Anyway, you guys know what the scratch art looks like. Basically, we're going to start with a waxy layer of crayon, okay? And I have some papers that I will pass out to those of you that wish to do this today. And you have a couple of options. I would say that this design is probably the easiest, and you would start in the middle and kind of build out. You could do the checkerboard. It takes a little more time to do that. It's a little bit painstaking. Or you could do this. I did three um, examples of what you could do, but it's probably better to have more continuity and to just do one pattern as opposed to three. But I just wanted you guys to see that as an example. What we're going to do is we need to make sure that we have a nice layer of waxy crayon, 
okay, so that when we scratch through the paint after we paint this black, okay, when we scratch through the paint with these wonderful tools here that Cesar sharpened for us, thank you Cesar, okay, uh, we want to make sure that it works. And if you don't put enough crayon, in other words, if you just kind of go like this, you know, just spool around, okay, it won't work. Okay, so you need to make sure that you put white crayon, and sometimes with white it's a little bit tricky because you can't always see if you missed a spot, go over it again. Go over it twice, thrice, however many times you need to, to ensure that you have a nice, thick layer of crayon. And when it comes to the paint, we want to do exactly the opposite. We want to make sure that it's a very thin layer of paint that we spread out, okay? We make sure we cover all the crayon, but we spread it pretty thinly so that we can scratch through it more easily. Okay, so I want you guys to use red, white, and blue. But if you're from Mexico, maybe you want half of the flag to have, you know, the Mexican colors of the Mexican flag, like uh, green, okay, as opposed to blue, green, white, and red. Question? What does the Brazilian flag look like? Good question. There's a computer right here for those of you that need to look up um, any any countries or anything like that. That's our, is one of your parents from Brazil? Awesome, that's great. So everybody refers to America as sort of the cultural mosaic, meaning that we all come from different countries and, and that this country is very unique in the sense that it's relatively new in comparison with other countries. And, and that's a huge part of American identity is that we come from all over the globe. Um, so I think one of you is Greek, am I right? Is there, uh -huh. So I think the Greek flag has uh, blue and white, right? Is that what it is? So maybe you want to leave out the red, or maybe you want the red to, to seem like sort of an intrusion, you know, upon your culture and heritage. I'm not sure. What does America mean to a foreigner? Maybe America symbolizes false promises to a foreigner. Maybe your parents came here with hopes of, of you know, success, abundance of wealth, and so forth, and maybe they've been somewhat disappointed. This is a very hard time that we live in today. You guys are the next generation of Americans, okay? So there, it, there is a lot of sobering stuff that's going on right now. Um, people are suffering economically. It's almost like the Great Depression. And, you know, we're at war. Um, I think that since 1776, when we declared American independence, a lot has changed in this country. I think you would all agree. Those ideals of independence, think of how much we rely, all of your clothes that you're wearing come from China, pretty much, okay? Think of how heavily you rely on other countries for industry and that sort of thing, okay? A lot has changed in this country. The ideals of freedom and independence, okay? That this country, the foundation of what this country was built upon. Have those things been as constant as the Northern Star? Or have we lost our way, okay? so. I have some images here for all of you, and I will just describe briefly what I'm going to do with my my own project here. And if you guys need to make copies, I think we can probably figure out how to make copies, okay? If, the, if some of you need you know, more of these, but I just printed up some images that might be meaningful, the Statue of Liberty, Bald Eagle, et cetera, et cetera, fireworks, because that's often how we celebrate the 4th of July, with a barbecue, with some fireworks, surrounded by family and friends. Okay? I want you guys to really delve deep with this. I want this to be like a cathartic experience for you. Are any of you familiar? Have you ever heard the term cathartic? No. Okay. Cathartic. Cathartic means healing through art. So catharsis is when you heal through art. In other words, some kind of art form. Like you have some pain, some, some guy that you had a crush on, you know, he doesn't like you back and you feel heartbroken over it. So you write a song or you paint a painting with a broken heart. That's catharsis. That's healing your emotions through art. So this could be a very healing experience for you guys. I want you to really express what your identity is as an American in this piece. Now maybe you have a lot of pride in your country. Maybe you want to show all that iconic imagery of the bald eagle and the Statue of Liberty, okay, and freedom and all this sort of thing. It's up to you. This is a very personal project. Now, I am going to go ahead and pass out all the materials, all the tools that we're going to need to those of you that would like to do this. So for those of you that would like to do this, can I please see hands in the air? One, two, three, four. Great. Everybody here? Okay. Five, six. Great. Cesar, I want you to do this. Okay. No, you're going to have to do it now, Cesar, because you're empty-handed, okay? What's the paint do? The paint. Over top? Um, it's just a very, the painting section is going to be over here, and it's just, it's a very thin layer of paint. It's different than the paint that you're working with. It's the kind of paint that will scratch easily. And I will show you guys all how to do it. Um, as soon as I pass out everybody's papers to them, 
I will have you all kind of gather around over here while I show you how I'm going to paint over mine. And then, of course, I will be available to help you. What does it do? It covers up the crayon. Where is where is that thing? Because I was trying to show you. The crayon, what happens is the crayon kind of, as you scratch through the paint, the crayon is exposed and shines through. So you see these cool colors um, shine through. Um, where is that? You guys, honestly, like, where is that thing that I just What's this? Okay, this is an example right here. Okay? Now, um, I, I think my mother must have done this. It looks like her work. Um, she just did a red crayon. Okay, but you can see how you scratch through the paint, right? What? I thought I would be honest. What? No way. Is it honestly? My gosh, you guys are talented. Well, I'm so glad to have you present today because I think you can probably help our fellow students here. Okay. Oh my goodness. This one, look, look at this. Wow, that is something. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to tell my mother that. That's really something else. Okay, so let me go ahead and pass out the paper. Where did the paper end up? It was right here. I think maybe I took it over here. Oh, my God. So what are you trying to do? Break that person's foot? Let's see here. She needs to be distracted right now. She's very sad. All right. There's a lot going on. Everybody say hi. Say we love you, Miss Nelson. We love you, Miss Nelson. 